I was doing my daily yoga practice this morning when I noticed my attention continue to go back to this little black mascara stain on my brand new yoga mat. I tried to focus on my flow, on my breath, on my body, but my attention kept wanting to come back to that little black mark. And then it dawned on me, an idea that my inner self knows to be true. Your focus creates your reality. And my mind started racing with situations that validated this truth. For example, last week as I was prepping for dinner, I grabbed mint leaves to put in our water pitcher. And sitting down with my husband, I took a deep breath to take in the scent of the fresh mint, and I shared in my delight with my husband. And we both smiled in acknowledgement at how much we enjoy the smell of mint. One hour into the meal, Beryl pulls a piece of mint from out of his mouth and he looks at me and goes, um, are you sure this is mint? I think it's basil. And indeed, what we convinced ourselves was mint that whole time turned out to be basil. We began cracking up at how easy it is for the mind to convince itself of anything it wants. We have the ability to become sculptors of our minds if we would only realize that our focus becomes our reality. I bet many of us grew up hearing our parents say, money doesn't grow on trees. As I got older, that idea started to form my belief around money and wealth, and it created a deep-rooted belief that took me a number of years to uproot. And that belief was, in order to create abundance, we have to work really, really hard. And only then do we maybe have a chance at making it big. So I began to refocus my attention. I became a sculptor of my mind. And I adopted a new belief that says, well, money does come from paper and paper does come from trees. Voila, money does grow on trees. The bottom line is, as our holy Jewish sage, the Baal Shem Tov states, where your thoughts are, that's where you are, all of you. Instead of focusing on how grateful I was to have a brand new yoga mat that gets the job done, I was focusing on the 1% of the mat that has this little tiny stain. And that focus took me away from my goal. Like when someone has a tiny little blemish on their face, say a pimple, we automatically think that's all people see is our pimple. If only we were the center of people's universes like that. <laughs> so where can you refocus your attention in order to step into the reality that you want to manifest? If basil can transform into mint, anything is possible. Sharing is caring, so if you liked what you heard, pay it forward. And as always, happy manifesting.